Hey guys, I'm Mikey, and today I'm supposed to tell you about my first date experience. It's, whew, okay, the, the, my first date was in seventh grade. It was with a girl who actually asked me out, so, you know, that was some scary shit. And for the sake of discretion in this video, we're gonna go ahead and call her Plan C. And I'm not calling her that because my 12-year-old self knocked her up so bad that it required a totally different pill to make sure that we weren't having middle school babies. And it also wasn't because Plan A and Plan B girls weren't available, so I settled for Plan C. It just feels right, so I'm gonna call her that. So me and this girl, we were going to the movies, and in order to get to the movies as the 12-year-old stallion that I was, it required a car. What kind of car, you may ask? Well, it was none other than my mom's 1998 Volvo station wagon. It was about as silver as the mane on Jay Leno's head. I have no idea how we came to the decision to see this movie, but it was made in Manhattan with Jennifer Lopez. So my mom and dad think it's a good idea to take my brother along with me on the date because they want to see the movie also. So we go to the girl's house. I pick her up and there we are, family packed in that Volvo station wagon on our way to see Made in Manhattan. Not even a good movie. And I think even a few of our neighbors might have snuck into the extended rear of the Swedish mobile that we were perusing in on our way to the movie theaters. <sighs> we have a very active block at my house. But I had no choice. They were my rides, so my family was coming along for my first date. So I'm sitting closer to the front, my parents are behind me. No doubt they can see everything that I would plan on doing with this girl if I was gonna make a move. If I wasn't gonna make a move, they're just probably gonna judge as much as she would. But throughout the entire movie was just me arguing with myself in my head the entire time. Why don't you try to hold Plan C's hand? What'll your mom think if she sees you touching her? Why is Jennifer Lopez in this movie? So the girl's just sitting there kind of like looking over at me, looking back at the movie, looking back at me, and I'm just thinking about the fact that my family is right behind me. I'm sweating bullets at this point. I don't even know, I don't know what to do. So the movie's starting to wind down, coming to an end, and I realize I haven't done jack shit. I haven't made a move, haven't let her know that we're doing this more than just friends. But I'm just thinking, that was the movie. What the hell do I do now? And to be honest, on our way back, it was the most awkward drive home. The only person who cracked the joke that made her laugh was my little brother. I didn't do shit. I don't even know if I had talked to her when we got into the movie. So we get to her house and I'm freaking out. Do I kiss her? Do I shake her hand? Do I give her a jaunty hip thrust? <sighs> She might appreciate that. So the time is winding down and Plan C is rushing inside. She's over this. She knows that I am just all sorts of wimp at this point. So me, being the wild stallion that I am, I got into plan panic mode and went in for a kiss on the cheek. And I landed it. I landed her a kiss right on her cheek. And I swear this was her reaction. She goes, bye. And I just look back and go, okay. And then the next day in middle school, she goes and tells everyone that I kissed her on the cheek and I wimped out and I was too afraid to kiss her on the lips. And it was total embarrassment. It really, it really did suck. But one thing, one thing stands out to me. A few years back, someone had told me that plan C, this gal ended up being, she turned out to be a lesbian. Can you believe that the girl that I, took on my first date, turned out to be a lesbian. No problem with that, it's just, it's just ironic. Hmm. Well, maybe if I would have kissed her on the lips that night, she would have realized her lesbianity sooner.